Okay guys, we got something a little different in the shop today. It's actually fairly rare to find one of these as old as this one. It's about 20 years old. This is a uh, Blades Mobby XL uh, gas powered scooter. It has a 40cc engine on it. The cool thing about these, they're actually a really well built one. Let me see, this one's from around 2003, the year I graduated high school. These actually have a belt drive. It has a belt here that comes off the engine. And then it has a belt that comes to the rear sprocket, just like a Harley Davidson, pretty much. Yep, pretty neat little setup there. Really well built little scooter here. So... That's kind of gist of it. Let's see. Here on the handlebar, we got the kill switch. Sets about crotch level, so when you eat it, your junk turns it off on the way over the handlebars. Here's your brake over here for the front. There's your go juice. Decent little uh, grips on there. I might replace them with some nice high-end ones like I got on my bicycle. Bolt on. Then I got this... Uh, this little kick pedal here, it's just literally a little metal piece there that pushes against the back tire to help slow you down a little there. This one's actually got the racing carburetor on it and some upgraded parts on it. Already got a head in here. We're going to take this deck off here. That's going to be my video tonight. And we're going to clean this deck up, make it look better. So I have a nice deck. <laughs> So let me get positioned here, and we'll get to fixing that up. So most of you know, when I say I got something on the cheap, I got this on the cheap. You know, it was really cheap. Because <laughs> I'm a pretty cheap guy. See, we got us 120 grit, little salmon sponge there. Got us a paintbrush here for our stain. We got us a nice true black stain, semi-transparent, and we got new bolts, because I'll show you here in a second. So, this little set I'm using here, got the little Allen bit out for that. I got this from uh, my, my buddy Chris over there, uh, Busted Radio Garage. If you haven't, go give him a, a sub, check his channel out. He's a, a really great guy, he does uh, prize giveaways all the time. Pretty much when he announces his prize giveaway, everyone gets a prize. I know the one time I didn't get called for anything, and he's like, you didn't get something, send me an email, we'll hook you up. And this was the only bolt holding the deck on still. <laughs> So yeah, I, I sent him an email. I wasn't really worried about it. I'm not into the prizes and free tools and junk because yeah, I got plenty of tools. But it was really cool of him to do that. Might be replacing this soon. A little piece breaking off there. But for now, we'll just clean the top of it up good. I'm not gonna try to scuff all that off and do the bottom. We'll just do the top, make it look nice. And we'll get the rest of the scooter cleaned up later. Get it on there. Here we go. We knock some junk off here. The secret is you got to move faster than a rat on crack. There's going to be some lines here. I'm going to see if they actually sell a sticker kit so I put the original decals back on there. But not too worried about that. Nothing else. I'll get some decals to put on it and some uh, grip tape. We're just going to do a pretty good job of cleaning this up quick. I've been single a long time, so this is nothing new to me. Get good at the, the back and forth. 
single guys better at it than married guys sometimes. Some marriages aren't real good. Those guys are pretty good at sanding also. I tell a lot about a guy's relationship status by the way he sands. I say I got black. Be pretty forgiving. I got all these lines on here. This was from the front grip tape. This was a decal for the scooter and your rear grip tape. Oh man! Knock a bunch of this turn off. Clean it up the best we can here. Oh! Keep dropping stuff. Yeah, that bottom paint's still on there pretty good. We got a lot of that junk that looked bad off the side there. You see, this isn't a hard design. I could trim one out. I got a really nice uh, scroll saw down here on the floor. Throw that up on my bench here. Cut one of these out in seconds. Or I was kind of thinking about upgrading it to the like billet edition one that they build by uh, getting some diamond plate. Get a sheet of diamond plate. Cut one of these out. That'd look really cool. So everything's pretty smooth now. Okay. Pop our stain here. Got our old trusty Kershaw Auto pocket knife there. Really spinny pocket knife. My dad found it driving down the road. Just driving along. Something caught his eye and he pulled over and this brand new pocket knife was sitting there. Betting one of the farm hands out there. A little upset. Let's see. Brush. Oh, it says brush or rag. That has a picture of him putting it on a, a bagel. So yeah, it says sand with 220 grit. A little finer than what we did, but it's nice and smooth. I just had to take some of the rough crap off. So we're going to get this set up here. Get it up here like this so you guys can see it better. Unwrap the brush. Make sure you get the right one. Medium stiff for all paints and stains. Set this in front of that right there. Proper up there. We're going to draw some happy trees, like old Bob Ross. <laughs> There's a good blooper reel. Yep, that was a good idea. We'll put her up there. <laughs> good job, guys. Now my boots have black spots on them. You can go up and down. Apply a nice layer. I'm no Bob Ross, people. But I think this stain will look pretty good. Oh, man. Look at us. We're doing a good job here. There's some happy trees. We'll draw some clouds. Some happy trees. Some little children playing. I used to watch Bob Ross when I was a kid. My buddy's dad actually bought him a Bob Ross paint set. With all the little videos and stuff. this is really good for my skin so I'll soak all that up good get into that white where the lid's broke off just kind of dab it in there 
and support it with my fingers so we didn't uh, do too bad there. I just want to do a stain instead of like a paint or something there. Don't want to paint my road runner up there on my Clay Smith cam sign. <laughs> Get all these cool little signs from yard sales and stuff, super cheap. Don't want to paint our bike frame either. Be careful around there. I'll do the edges later off cam. Anyway, we're gonna make it like dark but we're gonna be able to see the wood green when it's done i'm gonna do a couple coats on there but that's pretty much the gist of it it's gonna be dark and i'm gonna put black grip tape on it i thought about getting like some oak or something but you don't want something to get good coverage so, what covers more than black? I can paint my wall all I want. I'm going to be putting up insulation soon, hopefully, if I can afford it in a few months. I'm going to insulate this little shop so I can work in here in the winter. A little propane furnace I can put in here. And, uh, be a nice little workspace do my videos in the winter time and work on work on my stuff no fun working on your stuff outside and freezing cold let this dry tomorrow we'll put another coat on here but that's gonna be it for our video fire this bugger up though so you guys can see her in action it's pretty mean I rode it to work this evening wash that brush out wash my hands make sure you get your cap pounded on there good and tight don't dry up yeah Nice and tight there. Okay, now we'll get this set to the side here. I'll show you what we do here. Here's your choke. Somebody bent the handle in. I, I run it earlier, so it might start right up. Nope. It's getting cold. We'll choke her a little here. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. We'll catch you on the next one. Have a